Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I am your host, Older Bro. I'm your other host, Younger Bro. And today we continue in Valhalla, where we are back to making uh this drink. Yeah, for... we're definitely making a drink. Just choose the rum. Yeah, it's true. Always choose yeah, the rum. The rum is never gone. <clears throat> Stop tapping the counter this much. I am this close to throwing this at your face. Sorry! <sighs> so let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this existential crisis? Since earlier today, I think. I realize I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I was remembering the, to the times I was had with my, mu uh, with my guardian. But I don't know. It was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having. How much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? Baby, what don't hurt love? me. Don't hurt me no more. <laughs> what is fun? That uh, was a band that uh, ended too soon. Are those feelings real? Is all this real? Am I real? Girl, you are a robot. <laughs> <laughs> what tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? You literally are. You are. But you're also alive. What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? Huh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's human. I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis, that uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember having panic I attacks. I am everywhere, and yet no one. scratching my arm to feel something. But the panic attacks gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch, and the fear got worse. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book, The Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. I also played Getting Over It. At one point, I cried with the book, and I realized I was crying over fake things, a story and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that, too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's what I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that book has helped me. I like it! Hey, can I take this drink? No. I made it for you. <clears throat> Thanks. Okay, then. <laughs> Phew. Why did you throw it on your head? <laughs> you wasted the rum. To feel something you made. How could you waste the rum? It's always gone. You need to savor the rum. And? It burns and itches a bit. I'll get you a towel. Uh, oh, um, yeah, I think this is Mario. Mario. Who, who, who did Mario? You started as Mario, and then I took over for one line because you wouldn't stop laughing, and then you went back to being Mario. Mario, delivery for Dennis' Oh, I've been here before. Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery for Dennis' and Who's that? She's my boss. I'll get it for her. Right, sit here, please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it if it's something perishable. Maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. I see. It's a wiener. A really big wiener. Hi, dog, Jay! Hey, honey. The big package had a big wiener inside. <laughs> what will your boss do with such a thing? Maybe use it on uh, me or Dorothy. I don't know. I don't know how she'll cook it, perhaps she'll chop it. Honey! <laughs> Seems the wiener's too big to eat correctly. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? <laughs> I just... <laughs> Seriously, Jill? She's the one making the jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at him. Anyway, we all know if we dare cook this without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang, hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm Mario. Come on, Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. You might have another delivery, you know. <laughs> this is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. I'll have a sunshine cloud! Mario sunshine! And you? I'm fine. I'm actually leaving right now. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Uh, too red, too yellow. 
Optional light blower! Ice optional. and blended! Ho ho! I'm Italian! <laughs> Make sure to call us on the road <laughs> if you're ever in a piping situation! Here. Thanks! Uh, hey, um. Call me Dorothy! You can also call me Darling for the right <laughs> amount! Yeah, Dorothy! Why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way! What way, Lillen? I'm a man's man! I like men, okay? I am gay, Mario! I like me some Italian way, I'm okay! His boyfriend's that... name's Luigi. <laughs> now that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry, I wasn't hitting on you. I was thanking you. Thanking me?! Your package let me see Honey here laughing like an idiot. <laughs> It's easier than you think. <laughs> that made me happy, and I don't know, it fits with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm th than when I entered. Hmm, glad to help, I guess. Uh, well, duty calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. <laughs> Out with you. <laughs> she seems like a nice girl. Uh, I don't mean for it to sound like I, uh... I get it, I get it. Don't worry. You like guys, it's clear. <laughs> Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? Oh, I do, yeah. Have you been to the motor district? I spend all of my free time in the motor district, actually. Why? Is it true what they say about all the illegal races going on there? You're not a cop, are you? I'm a bartender. I'm the one who made those races! As far as I remember, no. Uh, well, I mean, there are legal races, but there's also a semi-legal league out there. Semi-legal? The authorities acknowledge that there are, there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end! Huh. Have you heard about a biker called Christine Love? Miss Love, of course! Everyone knows who she is! What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? No, but she wasn't gone in 60 seconds! Oh, I don't know! Nobody knows! Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but truth is that nobody has faced them directly! Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that got beaten up to a bolt if they turn out to be what they seem. So a gang is just there, maniacally doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. Menacingly, but close enough. Oh. Do you want anything else? <clears throat> I'll have a piano man! Alright. From Seoul! Ho ho! What? Uh, <laughs> Seoul's main character plays the piano. Oh. Alright, piano man, two red. Yep. Three yellow. Yep. Five dark blue. Five green. Three light blue. Ice and mix. I want to be in the man! Oh! Man. man! Here. Yeah, this is nice! Hey, you do an item! <laughs> what are you trying to say with that laughter, Gil? <laughs> no, we're not. What's wrong with you? Uh huh? You walk with this hunk of a man and you don't feel the least bit tempted. How can you be so calm with this smell so close to you? <laughs> Have you ever heard the expression, his past is a fucking weight I don't want to carry? Because his past is a fucking weight I don't want to carry. <laughs> if he even has a past at all, I'm having my doubts lately. Are you playing he's not a good game? Oh, don't misunderstand. Gil is good game. He's not bad looking. He's a gentleman. He is always attentive. Is that a, um, a compliment I hear, Jill? But he's also distant and will take many steps back when he feels like he's getting close to somebody. Hey! You don't have to marry him. Just push him to a closet and... <laughs> uh, not you annoy me, bartender. You don't see what you have right in front of you. I mean, look, you see what I, you have right in front of you. You can... You can Don't bring me into this! Shut up, fuck boy. Just, just... No! Out with him. No! No! I'm out! Uh. Please come again. Ah, Gil, you heartbreaking <laughs> fuck boy. <laughs> Back, did anything happen? You don't want to know! 
I ha I discovered I had the sense of humor of an eight year old. Did anything new happen? Hey! <laughs> they brought you a package! Ah, uh, yes, my. Curated. Curated wiener. It's a gift from my folks. It was displayed in customs, delayed. but. Delayed in displayed in customs. <laughs> <laughs> That's one hell of a fucking package to be displayed I mean, in customs. It was custom. a huge wiener. I, 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 I guarantee it was displayed for many days. <laughs> but here. But here it is. You guys want some of it? <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Have some pocket money. I'm out of excuses. <laughs> Jill wonders oh. if Maneki Nekos are ac actually bring luck. Bring buy one to prevent her from getting too distracted. Oh god, it's gonna be a while before the next break. Yeah. Okay. You've been chuckling since yesterday. Wiener. <laughs> Damn you for making me laugh. Okay, it's the Maneki Neko. You have to buy the Nico Nico. It's the Maneki Neko. She bought what she wanted and was certainly pleased with herself. Okay. We've got Danger You. Hey, look. The bar called Valhalla. Is it any good? I need a place to unwind after work. Work. And armies are taking over, huh? Oh, <laughs> everyone is a neat just like me. Anyway, place is cool, but the bar can be a bit of a dick. How so? Never been there, so I wouldn't know. Is she cute? I can <laughs> take it if she's cute. She's cute, but I think she seems a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. A younger bro. And... I see. You already had a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances? No, I just heard it from the distance. So is that a no? Kind of. I mean, if you're going there just to chat. I just want a piece of chill for a bit and meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar from the BTC where you can smoke? Nope. Bummer. Well, I think I'm gonna go. I'm going next week then. Sounds good enough for me. So I'm full of myself. You are. <laughs> Hell yeah! First space colony plans to develop its own army by Lana Smithy. Even though space was imagined as a promised land, a place where humanity would start over, it looks like we're about to repeat our mistakes in the past. The first space colony, Shin Outer Paradise, is currently in talks to develop its own privately owned army, following <laughs> alleged threats from a notorious terrorist group. We're discussing it right now, but the law is most likely approved. We'll have an army, and we'll defend our motherland from any terrorist threat. Alice Rabbit chimed in during a private stream. This terrorist group does not exist. Don't let the Outer Paradise government fool you. The only reason for this law is so they can have more control of the population. Alice Rabbit's in Space Tool? Too? Amazing. Woman marries anime fellow. <laughs> Nobody is surprised. <laughs> by <Bye>, Lana Smith. <laughs> okay, you know what? Actually, by me. It's almost <sighs> like the guy marrying the one <laughs> video game character. I remember a time when wacky stuff like this made a lot of headlines, but even though I'm reporting on it, I can't help but think of how mundane it's become. I mean... We live in a world where you can just plug into the internet and live there for as long as you want. Or as your wallet can afford. Uh, related to fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual spaces thanks to new technologies. The traditional view of human relationships has changed so much that someone marrying a literal object feels kinda tame now. If the pillow had some form of intelligence, it might be somewhat different. But it's just a plain, generic anime hug pillow. Get with the times, Grandma! <laughs> Wanna marry me? You can't marry your own son. Oh, come on! Y2K, the final remaster. Bullshit. Leads the video game. Oh, here, uh, we need to rename this game. Skyrim, the final remaster. Leads the video game charts by Lana Smithy. The newest remaster of Skyrim opens the charts this week with 3.5 million copies shipped on its launch day. Other titles this, re this week include new releases such as Hatsune Miku Project <laughs> Remaster. Yes! Yes! Now, this one's just too <laughs> on the nuts. Why didn't you call it Miku Niku Project Nemaster? Uh, yes, on. even in other games, Hatsune Miku. Every day, Hatsune Miku. And Sting Space Remastered. Full chart included lifetime sales. Skyrim, the final remaster, 3.5 million. Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku, 1.5 million. Sting's face, 
950,000. Water, Water Pro Wrestling G, 500,000 slash 950,000. That's real goal. Dang it, Round Paul, 400k, 1.2 million. This is the third final this year. It'll never be final. Uh, okay. uh, Hatsune Miku, yes! Safe. Go to work. Valhalla is now one of my favorite games. <laughs> Good evening. Hey, Joe, I'm out to get firecrackers. Firecrackers? Yeah, the ones Josh Turner made. Anyway, it's New Year's, right? We need some. Walter, also, we need I some, like right? the fact that this is clearly CNN. <clears throat> yes. Wouldn't firecrackers scare off the d Firecracker. Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. I'll be back in a bit. Even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about fireworks a whole lot more when dogs are involved. I know how critical it sounds, and I don't care. Hey, Jay! Firecrackers, I'm out of here! Ah, Jamie's here. Greetings. Anyway, let's start. Jamie's here What's at up? the start of the day. Okay. We have to go Avatar. And sure. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Ah, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Uh. Yeah, yeah, shit him. This guy's been here five times, I think. By any chance, did something fly over here two weeks ago on Friday? Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. Explosion! But as far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it you know what made the noise. Let's just keep it at whatever drone story you heard. Right. The noise got annoying after a while, I must say. So it rained in the vicinity. I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. Distant explosions all night. Interesting, so it didn't get far away. Hmm. Uh. Now give me a Mars Blast. A Mars Blast for the guy who <laughs> wouldn't come back. <laughs> twice. Again, four times. Now, Mars. Six. Yep, Mars Blast. Six yellow. One dark blue. Four green. Two light blue. Blendered. Yep, Mars. <coughs> Here you go. Well, you didn't mess up. Like last time. Sorry if I may interject. You looking for a fight? No, I'm looking for cable. I mean, most certainly not. You really think you'd stand a chance? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. <laughs> I can fight dirty. Jill, please, you make me sound like a savage. It would be like me saying that you get people drink for a living. Drunk. Drunk. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right, sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in the spa. I'd even come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them, aside from the owner. I suggest you try Suplex next time. Might be your, might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try this Suplex thing. Right. Let's give Ingram a Suplex. <sighs> wow, suplex. that sounded weird. We need to flex. We need to Suplex. Four yellow. Three green. Three light blue. Ice. And next here. Good stuff, like a less burning but punchier pile driver. Say, your face looks somehow familiar, mister. Call me John, what, I mean Jamie, and you? I'm Ingram. Anyways, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I needed to look for a specific file it, hmm. Did you perhaps go through a nanomachine expunge? I did, actually. Figured as much, only a handful <clears throat> of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nanomachine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So why go through the whole thing? Rejection? You need to hide something? The second one. It's easy to remain undetected when they have no means to track you or your activity. I see. How does the expunge work? You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution. 
It causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For five years, you're trapped Hours. in... Years?! For five years. Holy <laughs> shit! For five long years, I lay dormant! Yeah. For five long hours, you're trapped in bed while a horrible measure builds pressure. up. Pressure builds up in your body and nanomachines are forced out. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, in your gums, in your toes, everywhere. And after all that, they need to plant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. What are you having, Jamie? This is a gut punch. Yeah, I should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Sure. Gut let's, punch. Let's give him a gut punch. Again, that didn't sound right. Five yellow. One green. Optional light blue. It is not optional. Aged and mixed. Here. Yeah, I love these. Looks different from yours, though. I... <clears throat> I had a couple of extras in his, actually. So where's the antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all other maintenance systems. It can be troublesome at times, but the perks of not having nanomachines in the body outweigh the cons. And the rest of the enhancements? Were you reconstructed or have you been adding them over time? Over time, either by getting a much-needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come again. Don't count on it. Uh -huh. You've said that twice. Shut up. Seemed like a nice guy. Right. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you caught him on a bad day. Now I think you're just that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough, that guy tires the hell out of me. <sighs> Oh, this is you. This is Alma. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood? Give me a bad touch, will you? That way you'll be in a good mood, too. A <laughs> bad touch for Alma. <laughs> bad touch! Oh, you'll give Alma a bad touch, all right. Two yellow. Two dark blue. Two green. Four light blue. Ice and mixed. Bed! Here. Joe, you have such a pretty sense of humor. Pretty. Pretty. Guilty as charged. So what put you in a good mood? Oh yeah, that. I had sex for my first time. I mean, today. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, hell no! You're not going to get me to believe that shit. <laughs> hell no! <laughs> nope! nope. <laughs> That's impossible! <laughs> <laughs> Today, my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up, they did her husband, and drunk at that, but also dressed like she got fucked in the back of a parking lot. I'm guessing because she got fucked in the back of a parking lot. And, I, and to top it off, she forgot to even bring her kids. What? Luckily, my parents brought them to the court. The judge assigned the kids to my parents for the time being. So she really messed it up, huh? When they came back to the house and D Diana started throwing a temper tantrum, she said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the Angus, angst. the angst would make her jump onto the highway. So Eva comes and says, then make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, Lord! I shouldn't reinforce that behavior. But, but also, <laughs> I'm absolutely reinforcing that behavior. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for an hour now. You hold quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. We played all the time. We even slept on the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. We stopped playing. She had other things she wanted to do. Like fuck people. I could forgive all that. I mean, the age difference and all. But there is something in peculiar I still particular. can't... Particular. I still can't forget. 
It was a day she invited her friends to the house, and I went to ask her something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister, and she said, had no little sisters. Ouch. I think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I held on her. I admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know. Little by little, that admiration wore off until we finally reached that breaking point I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey, it's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but the Diana who said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. How so? <clears throat> How so? She hasn't m matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. <clears throat> when you see her, you don't see an adult. You see an overgrown, horny teen. <laughs> so aside from destroying any admiration I held for, she's made sure not to fix that impression. Huh. But enough about me. Let's kill you. What? <laughs> I know what I said. Well... Everything's fine, I think, aside from this note. A note? Remember how I told you I lashed out of my dead girlfriend, dead ex's- Look, girl, you never broke up. She's your girlfriend. Yeah. I got this note from her. Let's see. Hmm. Wow, she must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem then? Same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Right. Give a Brantini, will you? There's a little story I want to tell you. You mean give me a Brantini? Right. Pass a Brantini. Six red, three dark blue, one light blue, aged and mixed. Here. This is the thing. Let's start. Boo! Oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon it became animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time, the girl would become attached to her eldest sister, looking up to her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. <laughs> not now. She said, sorry, said sister would even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. And after the girl went into college, said sister would quit her job. The sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. I have your high-ranking lips. Shut up. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt... Like a part of her had crumbled. Hey, Joe, I can lift your sweater if you want to see. I bet you want to see. I can also just start <laughs> making out with her right now. She wouldn't know. All right, enough. Enough? Shit. Peace out. Uh, I mean, I know the girl is you and the sister is your eldest sister. Please get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she will be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must take courage, lots of it. Yeah, you're right. My mouth's dry. Can I have a beer? Right. A Big beer. Beer? Man, I am going beer, beer. crazy, aren't you? Uh, aren't I? One red, two yellow, one dark blue, two green, four light blue, mixed. And bubble ba booey Bubba booey Here. Thanks. So, tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh, yeah. I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law, she got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. I helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her. She she was pretty much my sister, too. I have to leave, but I'll tell you this. As both a big and little sister, if you don't grant that girl the chance of talking to you, I'll never, ever forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday if you're interested. Oh, sure. I'll be there. Remember, I want to forgive you. Yeah, yeah. I'll go take my break. Alright! Bah! You were here. You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? 
Anyway, call me if anything comes up. That'd be a no. Save time! You should probably say... I'm trying! <laughs> okay, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. We will come back next time with even more of Valhalla. Even more game. Until then, the future is very uncertain. What is certain is you guys are awesome. And there'll be more Two Bros Game Night tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.